Hello, Ramley and other NFL family. I'm Peo Time, your Canadian Ram fan, talking about the Los Angeles Rams pre-draft coming in here hot. Uh, Les Need and Sean McVay had a press conference today. Uh, finished watching the whole thing. It was really great. I encourage you to go check it out on the Rams official YouTube channel. But we are going to react to a couple of the key takeaways here. And uh, I'll, I'll just read a little bit of an article and then give my thoughts right after that. So if you're new here, welcome. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day and uh, thanks for clicking on this video. Let's talk about this here. So quick little thing. So top takeaways from Sean McVay and Les Needs pre-draft 2023 uh, and their comfort with 11 picks entry in the draft. They did talk about Allen Robinson a bit, but it's written by senior staff writer Stu Jackson uh, for the Rams. And uh uh, so he just kind of gives the details here about that it happened, but here are some of the key takeaways. So the the first takeaway that Stu points out here is uh, trading back to cover gaps between third and fifth round and option, but still to be determined. Uh, and then he goes on to quote uh, Sneed talking about, I think a lot of people on our staff would love for us to d- uh, f- to do at some point, move back to cover some of that gap and get, in between our 77th pick and our first pick in the fifth round, Sneed said. Uh, That's still to be determined, but definitely always an option. There's a lot of speculation here that the Rams were are looking to and many other Ram fans expect the Rams to trade back uh, within the, you know, with their second round pick with some two, one of their two third round picks to help get some more draft capital uh, in the fourth and fifth rounds, uh, just because we only have 44 players under contract right now. Uh, so the Rams are going to need to draft some guys. So definitely uh, that, that was one of the key takeaways for sure. Uh, if we go back to it here, uh, another one of the takeaways is Rams were committed to learning f- uh, from the 2022 and maximizing Allen Robinson uh, skill set prior to trade. Uh, so this is just McVay kind of touched on here. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but just they acknowledged what happened with uh, Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson had some remarks in his press conference that I think got blown up a little bit, uh, but that he maybe didn't feel that he was uh, used well. And uh, Mc- McVeigh says, you know, he they, they were ready to move forward with Allen Robinson on this team, but they did find a trade. Uh, whether you like the trade or not, it happened. Uh, so we'll, we'll move on from that. Uh, they did talk in detail about the current situation with quarterback room causing Rams to be intentional about evaluating second tier of that position in this year's draft class. Only Matthew Stafford is on the roster right now. John Wolford and Bryce Perkins have not been re-signed. Uh, and so the Rams are, they need quarterbacks. Uh, you know, someone's got to back up Stafford. And uh, so the, the Rams have definitely been doing their scouting. And uh, Sneed said, we've definitely been intentional about that second tier uh, right, and those players that would probably be beyond the top four or even the fifth one now from Tennessee uh, that's talked about a lot going early, going before us, things like that. Uh, Sneed said, but no different than every other year. Uh, McVeigh added that there's been more needs to address and more voids in the roster uh, in general, given the current roster numbers, which has enabled them to have a broader perspective on the draft compared to previous years. Interesting press conference for sure from Sean McVay and Les Snead. I think uh, one of the things I liked from what I saw in it is that they look confident. Uh, They look bought into what they're doing. They're going into this draft with a plan. I expect them to have, you know, a plan B, plan C, all the way through Z or or Z as Americans say, uh, to get that, you know, to to nail this draft. I really think they they recognize the importance of it. Les Snead was pressed a little bit on, uh, you know, what they look at for in certain players and if they're what they thought of this draft class. But he kept his cards pretty close to the vest, and he didn't want to reveal anything. And he he was pretty candid with uh, with reporters that uh, you know of what he could and could not say on their thoughts toward this draft. So looking forward to it. Oh, that's my little timer there. Uh, looking forward to it, and I I can't wait to see you know what 
players the Rams draft. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Are you looking forward to this draft? And do you have confidence that Les Snead and Sean McVay can nail this thing? I've said I'm a firm believer that the, the Rams are definitely going to be moving up and down this draft board with the draft capital they have. I don't expect them to... Uh, you know, to, to have a boring draft by any means, uh, maybe not so much on day one, but day two, I, I could see them, you know, trading back from that 36 overall pick uh, to accumulate more draft capital. And to be honest, that's kind of what I'd like to see them do. Uh, and then those third rounders, you just don't know what you're, you're going to get with that. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, Rams Wednesday will be at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific uh, tomorrow. Feel free to tune in. Appreciate y'all. And as always, go Rams, horns up, and peace out. Let's go Rams! Woo! Thank you very much!